In this video, we're installing Windows 8. So with your Windows 8 installation disk already in the drive, you'll need to wait for it to do its thing. When this pops up, you'll just need to select your language and time and currency format and leave the keyboard or input method set to default. Click on next and then click on install. When this pops up, you can read it if you want to, but I just generally click on I accept the license terms, then click next. This upgrade is if you already have Windows 7 installed and custom install windows only is for a fresh clean install of windows. I recommend doing this. So click on that. What you'll see here is the hard disk. You'll see that mine is only 20 gig. That's because I'm using a virtual machine. Yours will be larger. So select your hard drive and then just click on next. And let Windows install. While this is installing quickly, I'll just go over a couple of things. So like I said before, I'm using a virtual machine to do this, VirtualBox, which is free. I have uh, two cores out of six assigned to VirtualBox, Phenom 2 X6 1090T Black Edition processor. And for RAM, I have 2.5 gigs of RAM assigned to this virtual machine. If you want to see the rest of my specs, just go to a gaming video that I have. After it's installed and getting ready for installation, it'll install features, all of your updates and stuff like that. Your PC might restart during this process. Um, any restarts that I have, I will skip them in this video just to save time. If you get restart like this, just click on restart now. After you restart your PC, it'll get ready for devices. Now this may go slow for you if you've already got a lot installed. Uh, since this is a virtual machine, not many are installed on the virtual machine. After that's done, you'll see this screen. You'll get to personalize windows by changing a color. This will affect the start screen and other elements of Windows 8. I'm gonna select this color. Then we need to give our PC a name because again, I'm using a virtual machine. I'm gonna name mine Virtual Win then click on next. When you click on next you'll be able to see these express settings or customize. I recommend using express settings. Next you'll be able to use a Hotmail Live or other account to sign in with Windows 8. This will allow you to get to the Windows Store and stuff like that. But if you don't want to use that you can do the familiar route and use sign in without a Microsoft account like other versions of Windows. And of course you can sign up for a new email address if you do want to, but don't have a Hotmail or Microsoft account. I'm going to enter my email here that I use for YouTube and then what you'll need to do then is click on Next. It'll ask you for a password which you need to enter. And after you do that, it might ask you for uh, additional information like uh, security. So I'm going to do that and skip. After you do that, I'll start creating your account and stuff like that. And finalize your settings. And it'll give you a brief tutorial on how to use the new Windows 8 to access the charm bar with settings and stuff like that as well as a new start screen, in case you haven't used Windows 8. Like I said before, it'll get your PC ready and it'll install any apps that's been installed or hasn't been and give you these pretty colors. And after all that's done, it'll take you straight to the desktop. And from this desktop, you can access this start screen instead of the start menu and you can install applications from the Windows Store. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video hope you enjoy Windows 8. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.